Zach right in front. Mike, um, I think you guys pretty much held the lead consistently for about 35 minutes, and then it just sort of felt like Kansas that they made like maybe six of their last eight shots. Just what did you see in that maybe last four or five minutes? Was it them going up a level? Was you guys maybe just running out of a little steam? I don't think our defensive intensity was there the second half like we started the game and finished the first half. And they picked their defense up. Uh, it was obvious they held us to 31 points and we gave up 43. Uh, but for the most part, I thought we played a, a solid game, but they made the plays coming down the stretch. The two threes that they made were huge. And then the two buckets Dickerson hit in the paint was kind of the difference in the, in the game coming down the stretch. Mike on your left and Rabbi. Callaway kind of put you guys on, on his back for a little while there, um, career high. Was what, were you, something you guys thought you know you could take advantage of with him? Some, you know, something you planned differently with him? Or was that just kind of an individual effort him stepping up tonight? He had a good game. You know, and, um, it was good to see because he's, he's had his ups and downs this season, but tonight he had a, he had a solid basket. Grabby in your right to Mason. Yeah, Coach, your thoughts on Ware's performance overall, the points and the rebounds, and his defense on Hunter Dickinson for a majority of the time he was out there? Well, I thought he did a good job, you know, early on. I thought the two buckets that we gave up, he, we gave up a layup to Adam, which we didn't take a foul. I mean, it was, and then it was Ware to let him lay it in. And then the two buckets that Dickerson got in the paint, thought was huge. And I don't know if Ware was tired at that particular time, but he just didn't battle him like he did the first half and throughout the, the first half. Uh, I thought those two shots were huge for him coming down the stretch. Mason right in front to Tom. Coach, you mentioned that Kansas picked up their defense in the second half. They held you guys to 33% from the field. What kind of adjustments did they make to slow you guys? Well, I mean, we we had Malik and, and McKenzie both in foul trouble. You know, after we built the lead, you know, we stayed around eight, eight, nine, ten points in the second half early on, and those two guys picked up fouls, so you have to pull them and try and prolong the game. And uh, I thought that was somewhat the difference too. They were able to capitalize on it. Tom on your left and Rick row two. Mike, I know there are actually no more victories in this program. That's the number two ranked team in the country, and you took them nose to nose. How much do you benefit from that going forward? These guys knowing that if they just played just a little bit better, that, that they could be capable of competing at that level? Well, it's really the first game that we've had. You know, we've been in a lot of close games, even the early games that we've had, and that we didn't cave. And I thought tonight we just we didn't make the plays defensively that we needed to make um, in a game like this. But you, it's a game that we can definitely build on, uh, especially after you come out of a game. Auburn game. Uh, you know, I didn't know which way we would go, but I thought we played pretty well. And, uh, you got a tip you have to build in this team because they did everything they needed to do to secure the win down the stretch. Rick, second up. Yeah. Over here. Did, did you encourage Trey to be more aggressive and, and go to the rim uh, today? He seemed to be more aggressive than he's been the last few games. No. You know, I just I encourage him to play hard and do the things that I think he's capable of doing. And I thought tonight he finally displayed that. So, I mean, I don't think anybody is holding Trey back, you know. He had a hell of a game tonight. I was happy to see that. I just hope he can build on it. Mike, row two, right? Coach, Kansas wasn't a team that was forcing a lot of turnovers coming into this game. Did they do anything different against you guys that you didn't see on the court? I thought fatigue set in. You know, I played Cubs and Gallo the whole second half, and I thought fatigue set in. Gallo had about three turnovers coming down the stretch, and ended up with five turnovers, and that's normally not him, but you know, I thought the fatigue factor and the fact that we played him the minutes that we did kind of hurt us a little bit. Zion with two centers and Daniel. Mike, Malik and Khalil were both under 50% from the field today. Did you feel like <clears throat> Kansas did anything different, or, or what do you just think led to that today? Well, we knew coming into the game that 
it was going to be our starting five pretty much against their starting five. And their starting five won out. Uh, no, I thought, you know, Ware didn't get a whole lot of good looks. Uh, Malik had a few good looks inside that he just didn't complete. Uh, but it, for the most part, I thought they played a, a pretty good ball game. Daniel, front last one. Yeah, um, you mentioned how kind of after Auburn you were unsure of how your team would respond. Um, I guess with the what maybe happened throughout the week, or what did you see that kind of inspired confidence, not only for Saturday, but then maybe how things can play out there. Well, as a coach, I'm going to always have confidence in my team. We just had to go back to work, and we put a good week of work in, um, and kind of put the Auburn game behind us. Nobody wants to sit through that as a coach and as a player. You don't want to go through that, but we did, and I thought we rebounded tonight. But again, we didn't win, and so we got to go back to work tomorrow and get ready for our next two games. All right, thanks, coach. Thanks, Mike.